Today we are in Keene, New Hampshire. We came here in season one and there was just so much to do. We decided we had to come back. One of the things I really love about this area is that it's nestled in the Monadnock region and so it's got this cute little mountain town vibe, but it also has this main street that has great shops, great dining, galleries, and a lot more. So today we're gonna pop into some of those businesses, meet some of those people, and I am gonna cuddle a cow. Starting off the day surrounded by the essence of coffee, we visit this women-owned roaster that's been operating since 1993. It's become a hub for the local community, offering more than coffee and baked goods, but a feeling of inclusiveness and comfort, a place for people to land for a few hours or the day. We then travel a few minutes down the road to a small farm with a focus on cow cuddling. For those who've always wanted to get up close and personal with these beautiful creatures, this is the place. Next up for a delicious and clean lunch. What I mean by clean is no chemicals, all fresh, and an emphasis on local food. And the menu is extensive with wraps, bowls, burgers, salads, and a lot more. We then head over to a local nonprofit that provides accessible, high quality arts and wellness education programs for people of all ages and levels of ability. They offer classes in dance, theater, and multi-arts camps. And to close out the day, something a bit different. This indoor golf center offers a ton of unique and relaxing golfing experiences via their special simulators. It's super relaxing and a lot of fun. All right, so big day, lots to do, people to meet, but coffee first. We're at Prime Rose Coffee in Key, New Hampshire, and I'm Judy Rogers, owner. And I'm Emily Levine, part owner. So I grew up in the area, uh, traveled around a little bit, and landed here and applied and thought it was gonna be for a little while. And then fast forward 16 years later, and I'm still here. Um, I didn't know anything about coffee, and I didn't even really like it. I lied on my application, um, but I got in and just like fell in love with it. I've totally drank the Kool-Aid over the six, like 16 years I've been here. Um, so the brand that Judy's built and then that we've built together since then, um, the ups and the downs, the, the crew that we have is awesome and getting to know so many people in the community. It's like, it's refreshed the community for me that I grew up in. It's opened a new door into so many wonderful possibilities and a future. It's the kind of place where we support each other. I mean, community, customers, we all know each other, we all hang out, and uh, we keep in touch with people who have moved on from us, um, and a lot of them are still in our lives. It's pretty important to us. Our brand is happy. Our brand is warm and welcoming, and it's good. Like We believe in our product. And it stayed true to what it was in the beginning. So we have like uh, a newer, really smart, amazing roaster that we call Stella. But our coffee still tastes like Judy's coffee that she created 30 years ago or whatever. Yeah, technology has changed a lot. Our, the original roaster was all manual. I mean, like everything about it, every batch depended on the person roasting it and, and its end result. The new roaster has uh, programming capability. We, we programmed it with recipes. So now, like I'm here with Emily running the shop. My husband, who has only been roasting with us for a little while, is out running, uh, running the, the roastery is at a separate location, um, the roasting house. It's very loud and uh, we roast so much that the cafe where we used to roast here can't contain it any longer. So. It's a separate building, and he's out there roasting for us today, so we can be here hanging out with you guys. Some of our most popular drinks are uh, what we call headliners, so they're like really good specialty drinks that we craft and we come up with, and we have a really good time um, crafting those and coming up with specials every month, um, and our customers love them. They're always like, what's the special for this month? And they like fly out of here. Um, 
It's just, it's like a fun menu and it's really, you can come in and order whatever you want and we're all about it. Like make your coffee taste how you want it to be. <laughs> and we have tea and we have hot chocolate and frozen drinks and Judy does the baking mostly. Some of our, like our cookies, scones, cheesecakes, all made from scratch. And then we have some other, everything's baked fresh in the morning, um, but some of it um, we don't make from scratch, but bake off here. But um, eat the scratch, the scratch made stuff's pretty good. I make she a really good scone. She makes the best cheesecake, like, ever. I make a good cheesecake. <laughs> And so next month, because it's March, we're going to do, uh, usually it's a, it's like a lemon orange citrus cheesecake, but next month we're going to do Bailey's Irish cream cheesecake. Very good. We would love to see you. Come on, stop by. Keene is a great place to hang out for a while. Prime roast, probably it's, the best of the best. It's a reason to come. <laughs> <laughs> the best reason to come. Yeah, and if you can't make it to Keene, uh, check us out online. We have an Instagram handle, Prime Roast, and you can find us on Facebook as well, or primeroastcoffee.com. Order your coffee, we'll send it to you. Okay, coffee, cheesecake, and I'm off to Cuddle Cows. Perfect morning. Welcome to our farm. This is Granite Oak Farm in Harrisville, New Hampshire, where we do cow cuddling. And when we have calves, we also offer bottle feeding. We started about three years ago. Um, I got some land in Gosstown, started getting some cows. And I mean, I've always loved cows uh, for the longest time, going to the fairs and spending a lot of time in the, the cow barns. And so I thought, well, I love cuddling cows. I think others might too. So we gave it a go and uh, it seemed to be a hit. Ooh. <laughs> Getting it all over me. Yeah, and you might spray Brian, and that's fine too. How many times a day do you have to do this? So we milk her twice a day, once in the morning okay. and once in the afternoon. And Peppermint gets um, a bottle at each milking. Okay. And then the rest of the time, uh, she has access to hay and uh, grain. I got it out there just putting it on um, Facebook when we first started and got the website up and running. WMUR and Chronicle picked us up and then it really boomed after that because uh, that really got us out there. And then we decided to move out here and uh, we got this place. It's a much better setup than we had uh, in Gosstown. Oh, am I doing it right? You are. Hi. And this is enough for her? Yep. Until it's it nice. Is. Whoa! There we go. <laughs> <laughs> She's a very powerful little baby. Yeah. Here you go. And that tail wag means she is it's good. It's flowing. Mm -hmm. Oh. How old is she? She's just two months. Oh my gosh, yeah. really? Yep. Hi. She was born on the farm. That's Lily's baby. Is that it? Is that it? That's it? A little bit more. There we go. Whoa. There's the bunt. <laughs> now what? Is she gonna like just attack me? No, she'll just run around you for a bit. Okay. And you can just pet her. She'll be crazy for a little bit, but then okay. she calms down. Okay. Do I just, oh, okay. Yeah, you can <laughs> give it to me. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna go give the bottle. Hi. Hi. You can sign up for either 30 minute or 60 minute. Then you get here, we get you signed in, and then when it's your time, then we get you right in with the cow to uh, start your cuddle session. People think it's for kids more. It's actually more adults. We probably have 95% adults doing it more than the kids. Oh, eating my hair. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, he loves hair. He really <laughs> loves chin scratches. <laughs> That's his favorite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just they got a film for the rest of the day. <laughs> okay. I should have had you come here last. <laughs> okay. Busy. Oh, Busy. Busy. I should have put my hair up. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Hey. 
So this is Biscuit. He is our mini Highland. Um, he will get probably three to four feet when he is finished growing. He is about four, four and a half months at this point. And even though he is older than Peppermint, she's actually bigger than him. So he's very sweet. He loves his chin scratches. Yeah. He loves laces and any strings and hair. Yeah. <laughs> As see, we can see here. <laughs> Hair no, ties are a fine. must sometimes. Fine, <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> so if this is of interest to you, and it should be, because it's super cute and super fun, and I never think about cuddling cows, but I love it, um, check them out. Granite Oak Farm on social media, their website. You can sign up for a course. Anything else? Just. Come and have fun. Yeah, come and have fun. Enjoy the cows. They love it. And people use it as their therapy sessions. Yes. Or, you know, hoping that their friends get pooped on. Whichever one. We love it. Either way, put it on your list of things to do. When I come into a bookstore, I am just like in my happy place. I'm such a sucker for really great colorful covers and titles and things like that. I mean, this, I mean, come on, like, who's not going to read this? This is the mystery. Being a huge tr true crime podcast junkie, this here is my jam. But I'm going to wait for my smoothie and I'm going to walk around and kind of do some book shopping. So come with me. Well, the guys wouldn't let me search for my Taylor Swift biography, so I got another book I'm gonna go read. But I ordered a smoothie, and I love that this bookshop has, I mean, God, we've just hit like one room, there's a whole other room over there, but then the Farm Cafe is a vegan restaurant that has a lot of great food. Um, and so I just love that because I can go read, I can have lunch, I can have a snack. It's like my perfect combination. It's good stuff. I still kind of want to find my Taylor Swift biography. Hi, I'm Skip Smith from the Farm Cafe here in uh, Keene, New Hampshire, inside the Tolstoy Bookstore. We are a 100% vegan cafe. Um, we have full food menu, um, full coffee menu, smoothies, herbal teas. We also do have a food truck that we run from time to time still. So. July of 2013, we started with a food truck. Um, we ran that for three years, and uh, our third year of the Toadstool bookshop came and asked us if we wanted to be indoors and uh, we've been here ever since. A couple of our items is a buffalo cauliflower mac and cheese um, is one of our most popular items along with a traditional vegan Reuben sandwich um, that's been popular ever since we opened um, and that's probably our biggest ones. We also offer a vegan Cuban sandwich, uh, jackfruit carnitas instead of the pork. Um, we have tons of baked goods. We, were, we offer uh, vegan croissants to go with your coffees and lattes. Uh, my daughter Amanda does the baking. Um, we have all sorts of whoopie pies, cupcakes, cookies. Um, right now she has a chocolate strawberry whoopie pie on there. It's one of my absolute favorites. So, What do we have here? Okay, we have our uh, Reuben sandwich. Yeah, this looks great. All buffed up mac bowl, which is a buffalo cauliflower mac and cheese. That's topped off a little bit of house-made ranch. It's our ramen bowl right here. That looks fantastic. And this is our African peanut soup. 
like vegan food has just come so far. Oh, it's, yeah. I mean, this just all looks just. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I tell everybody it's not tofu and bamboo it's or, not. You know, it's, sprouts anymore. It's it's fantastic. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh, I don't know where to start. Well, thank so, you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Thank you. Oh my god, I'm gonna go in for this Reuben. Mm. Wow. I started cooking with my grandmother when I was young, like standing on chairs in the kitchen and just fell in love with being in the kitchen. So I just literally cooked my whole life and definitely it's fun and uh, you can be as creative as you want or as not creative as you want at the same time. And uh, definitely just do your own thing. All right, so I'm gonna finish this up and I'm gonna head over to Moco and put on my dancing shoes to take a hip hop lesson. This could be the moment we've been waiting for, the chance to feel alive. At Kenny Bunk Savings, we donate 10% of our earnings to local nonprofits to make sure there's food on the table for those who need it, to give local children the chance to learn and grow, and to help furry little friends find loving homes. Now we've reached our 20 in 30 milestone, donating $20 million in 30 years. And you know what? We're just getting started because we are purpose driven. Learn more about our community promise at KennyBunkSavings.com. Hi, my name is Bob Hatem. I'm the Director of Operations with Hannaford Supermarkets. Hannaford has been a part of the community since 1883, and our commitment to people, quality, values still lead us today. Whether you're looking for a part-time job or a long-term career, working at Hannaford is being a part of something much greater than groceries. Together, we're not just feeding families, we're strengthening communities. Visit our link below to learn about job opportunities and joining our team. Welcome to MoCo Arts. We're in our Founders Theater here, which is where we do a lot of our productions, and we're glad to have you here. MoCo Arts is a nonprofit multi arts organization, and we focus on theater and dance. And we serve kids as young as six months up through kids that are 92 years of age. So I'm up in one of the beautiful studios here at MoCo. I'm with Lucia, and she's going to give me a little bit of a hip hop class, which I'm very excited about. I'm not at all dressed for it, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> I can get in. I can get in the mood. So, um, just in addition to hip hop, I know you guys offer a lot of different classes. So, what are some of the the themes? Yes, yeah, so we've got ballet, tap, modern, jazz, okay. um, and then hip hop, which we're doing nice. today. Um, and then we also have theater classes as well. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So there are three of these big studios, right? Yep, three. They're gorgeous. And this is a newly renovated building, six years or so. Um, yeah. And it's just, it's. I mean, I would love to come in here and train. Um, people must really, really love it. Oh Do yeah, you love, definitely. Do you love teaching here? Oh yeah, totally. And did you come up through the program? Oh yeah, nice. since I was three, so. Oh really? Yeah. Awesome. All right, well, we're gonna get moving and grooving with my hip hop lesson. <laughs> Yeah, MoCo Arts was founded in 1991, and the idea was to have movement classes, dance classes, and we've expanded into theater, but our mission is transforming lives through movement and creative expression. So for us, it's not about just creating the next professional dancers or actors on Broadway. It's about meeting kids at where they are in their artistic journey, giving them a safe place to come, experience the arts and their passion, and let them grow. It's not just about, oh, let's do a show, but it's the education. What do you do when you're in a live performance in front of an audience? What happens in a live show if you make a mistake, something goes wrong? How do you deal with that? That's part of that education that also teaches them life skills. They don't think of it that way, but that's what it is for us, and they, they have their moment to shine. And, and we're talking about 25 productions a year that we do between our theater dance program and also our young arts program, which is our dance and theater for second grade and under. Let's add a few more after that. A few more? Okay. Yeah. So once we've turned to the front, okay. you're gonna step on a diagonal, step, 
pull in, then the other side. Step, pull in, mm -hmm. and you're gonna put your arms up oh. and your heel on the ground, then close, then up, heel on the ground, and then you go step together. Oh God. And it's a chest pop, one, <laughs> two, then the other side, one, two. Yeah. Okay. My kids Let's would be go. like, you look ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so arms together. Okay. Here you go. Step together, step together, open down, open down. One, two, one, okay. two. Okay, okay, I got yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of our big success stories is Laura Carbono, our theater director, started as a student here. And then she was in Cake Summer Camp. She said to her friends, I'm gonna run this camp one day. And she's our theater director now and running that camp. So, you know, it's that she started in class as a kid, then she came back after she went away, came back, started teaching, and now she's in senior management for us and helping us make decisions daily for the organization. So it's a family feel for us and we want that always to be that way. So this was a lot of fun, thank you. I was horrible. And no, you thought weren't. That I, I think I have rhythm and then I get in front of instruction and I completely like clam up. So, but you were very gracious. Um, so if I, you know, were to want to take a class, you know, do you guys offer for adults, kids, you know? Yeah, kids all ages. We have adult classes too. We've got about 65 classes a week. So, wow. Yeah. And you do the theater on top of all the different classes. Yeah, we also have theater classes as well, so. Right. That is pretty great. Very busy, you guys are very busy. Yes. That's fantastic. Being outside on the tractor, there's nothing when you're out tedding a field or raking a field, and it's just me, the tractor, and the view. I mean, how can you sit in a cubicle when that's your view? My name's Corey Snow. I'm a hay farmer, and I own Monadnock Oil and Vinegar. I grew up on a working dairy farm. One of my first jobs when I was a kid, probably first, second grade, was feeding all the calves. We've been scratching a living out of the earth for a long time in New Hampshire. Growing up, I knew primarily where most of my food came from. If we had pork for dinner, it came out of that barn. If we had beef, it came out of the barn over there. When I met my better half, she and I worked really hard to know where our food came from and made sure we appreciated where it came from. Never thought twice about olive oil. Today, it's we want it cheap and we want a lot of it. And the only way to do that is to make olive oil that really isn't the quality we're looking for. So we found ourselves trying to seek out good olive oil. We decided, what the heck, let's do it. Peterborough is a great place to be. You know, you see Mount Monadnock in the background as you're driving into town and you walk downtown Peterborough, everyone smiles at you, says hi to you. It's just a fun, friendly place to be. Our whole philosophy of our store is try before you buy. You know what you're getting. We love educating people. I love seeing people happy. I love seeing people's faces when they try the stuff for the first time and go, oh my God, I didn't know vinegar could be that delicious or I didn't know olive oil could taste so good. It's a thrill when that happens. When I'm not selling olive oil and farming, any free moment I get, I try to be outdoors as much as possible. I'm fishing, I'm kayaking, I'm hiking. That's how I live free. Hey, Welcome to the golf lab. Thanks so much. This is such a great place. We've been talking about this all day, so I'm excited that we're finally here. Hey, we're thrilled to have you. And I love this uh, golf ball. So these are all the members' bags? Yep. Actually, there's all the walls have members' imagine, bags on them. Yeah. There's a lot of members now. Yeah. Well, I can hear them playing, so I'm going to go give it a shot myself. Excellent. All right, That's let's great. do it. So aside from the driving range, what else kind of like comes up here that people can play? Most folks like to play on courses. So we have over okay. 100 courses from Pebble Beach to um, St. Andrews. So there's... Oh, so they're like the actual kind of render, or, all right. Yeah, and they're super realistic and actually have everything from sand traps and water and, yeah. And it's a great way to improve your game and also just have fun with friends. Do a lot of people yell in here? <laughs> <laughs> like when they get stuck uh, in you, the you sand can, You can say yell or curse. No, 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 yeah. no. It's, it's it, more fun. It's very, very fun. Yeah, I, I mean, I can see how this could be really relaxing, like stepping in here and just kind of like hitting hitting the ball. I think it'd be great. Yeah, well, they, there's definitely stress relief and there's definitely, it's entertainment for the winter and also during the yeah, summer as well. Right. Yeah, right. So it's totally weatherproof and yeah. we're open 24 seven, so folks actually oh can God. come anytime. I bet immediately this was a hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we've been open less than a year and we already are 
almost at capacity. So we're we're busy about 80% of the day. That's, that's awesome. Well, heard about the golf loft last year, just golfing around town and um, decided to check it out in the winter. Perfect time for me to get, get a membership and it's been a great time. My sons are in their 20s, so sometimes we're here at 11, you know, at night and play 36 holes and it's great. It's a good stress reliever at the end of the day. Uh, or, or it creates stress, <laughs> depends on how you're playing. <laughs> All bays have the same software, but in one of our bays, we have special cameras that videotape every swing. Okay. So you can actually see yourself on camera and, and really get a feel for how to improve. Right. You compare yourself to a pro who's synced with your swing. That's so cool. And you yeah. can see every step of their takeaway and also their shot. So it's really, you can actually mimic somebody else and learn how to play golf That's that way. so cool. And do you have kids? Like, do kids come in here? Yeah, There's absolutely. Adults, no, or? no, no. There's tons of games. There's mini golf, skee ball, cornhole. Yeah. Uh, that you all play virtually with golf it's clubs. So, um, so, no, we have all ages. We've done kids' birthday parties. And that members is... have done kids' birthday parties. They organize it themselves. Well, I'm going to get to it because I really want to yeah, play. Yeah, let's see your swing. Let's see my swing. All right, let's get my ball up here. Okay. Nice. Dead oh. straight. Look at that. Yes. Bam! <laughs> Can I like show someone that? Look at that. Mom, you'd be so proud. I kind of like want to put her on FaceTime and show her. I'm going to do one more. All right, if you guys are in this area or around New Hampshire, you have got to check out the golf ball. This is so much fun. I've changed up my club here. I'm going to try something a little different. And because they're open 24-7, who knows how long I'll be here. Anyway, we had a great day in Keene. Follow our itinerary. Come up here and explore for yourselves. Either way, put it on your bucket list, and we will see you next week. Can I hit it? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> That's got to go in. <laughs> oh, God. Happens okay. to all of us. Don't worry about oh, it. Oh, good God. Mm. You guys, Mad Lips. Do you remember this? Okay. Today we're going to study the lifestyle of a huge and hairy animals. The word dinosaur comes from the Greek word dinos, meaning poop. <laughs> I can have too much fun with this.